the two most important questions for tomorrow are, number one, will Manny Pacquiao deliver Sugar Shane Mosley his first ever knockout, or will Sugar Shane Mosley pull off an upset? We have compiled all the interviews from start to finish of this fight, all the camps, all the press conferences, and we came up with a different perspectives. Let's watch this. It is clear to many who the favorite fighter is as three-division world boxing champion Sugar Shane Mosley faces off with eight-division world boxing champion Manny Pacman Pacquiao for the latter's welterweight belt. But experts are saying that on Saturday night, it's not enough for Pacquiao to just beat Mosley. The current pound-for-pound -pound king will also have to cover the spread. Well, I think for Manny, it's not just enough to win. I think he needs style points. I, I think the feather in the cap, really, I think me and Freddie Roach have talked about this, is try to become the first person to stop Shane Mosley. Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach has a different take on the pressure this fight has on his ward. Well, that's what I say, but Manny just has to win the fight. So, I mean, as I say, he just needs to go out there and look, look, look good and do what he needs to do. Uh, I would like him to be the first person to stop Mosley. That's, that's me personally. And, you know, Manny um, sometimes gets very compassionate in the ring and, uh, he knows the sport and there's no reason to hurt anybody, so um, we have different opinions on that, but um, we'll see. But compassion is not what Mosley is looking for. He is out to win one of the biggest fights of his career. The 39-year-old boxer is relying on his experience and discounting the age factor. Uh, this is not going to be a fat job. I've been training a lot uh, with a lot of the younger kids and guys, and I'm able to outwork them, so... Um, I think I'm going to do very well. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do very well. And, you know, Pacquiao, but he's very fast. He's a very uh, uh, well-conditioned and, and determined fighter as well. So that's, that's why I say it's going to make for a great fight. Mm -hmm. So age is not going to matter, you think. What about mental state? I mean, Pacquiao has, is, is getting into the fight after 13 straight wins and phenomenal. He's on top of the world right now, the boxing world, that is. And you, um, there was a draw, and then there was this, that loss to Floyd Mayweather. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, different things happen in your life where you kind of, you can't do uh, your best or you can't do what you think you know how to do. When you get in the ring, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's working against me. So, you know, this fight right here, I think that I'm, I'm going in, you know, pretty focused. I'm going in there in pretty good health and, uh, you know, training very hard. So I'm, I'm, I'm really ready to go. There is a common theory on how mostly can beat Pacquiao. Oh, if I was... Given the advice, I want him to be on his toes. Uh, I have, uh, I wouldn't go chasing Pacquiao out around the ring. I mean, because you don't have to do that. They say he'll come after you. I think Shane has opportunities early. See, I'm picking Manny to win, as always. Um, what I think is that Shane, early on, there's a window of opportunity. See, a great fighter. First three rounds? First three rounds. I think there's a window of nine minutes. See, what happens with every great fighter as they get older? There's 36 minutes in a championship fight. As you get older, your physical attributes diminish where you can start becoming good for 27 minutes, then maybe 12 minutes. Well, Shane's at that 12-minute stage where I think there's a window of four rounds where I think Manny's going to box, be more cautious. As he works his way into the fight, I think he lets his youth take over and he starts to let his hands go. But, you know, honestly, I think Shane is prideful enough and just dangerous enough with that right hand. He's got a very good right hand still. Uh, I think that this fight will go to the decision. Mostly Camp has admitted, however, that training to fight the reigning king of the ring has not been an easy task. Well, the thing is, we're studying the DVDs, but Pacquiao has such a quirky, awkward kind of style about him that, like I said, you can't really put a blueprint out on the way he's going to come because the way he comes is, is unconventional. That's why he's Manny Pacquiao. That's why he is where he is today. It's going to be about making necessary adjustments while you're in the fight. Still, Pacquiao Camp knows they could not take this fight lightly. Uh, it could be a very difficult fight because Mosley's skill and Mosley is big, bigger, stronger, and, fa his, and faster. He's this is the fastest guy we've ever fought, so he can pose problems for us, but uh, I think we have it covered, though. Well, I mean, everybody, anytime, everybody we fought is bigger and stronger and this and that and the other from, I think, day one, so... Um, it, that's nothing new to us, but uh, yeah, speed has always been our advantage, and Mosley's very quick, and he's, and without a doubt, very strong. I mean, if you can hit Mayweather, and he's arguably the, the best defensive fighter in the sport, if you can hit him, you can hit anybody. But, uh, you know, we have a great game plan, and uh, condition-wise, we prepared ourselves for a long fight, if it has to be one, but it's, uh, we're, we're, we're ready to push Mosley to a place we've never been before.
But the question in every fight fan's mind is, will Pacquiao attempt to do better than what Floyd Mayweather Jr. did against Mosley? No, I never think about that, but what I'm thinking right now is <clears throat> how I can give a, a good fight to the people, how, how we entertain people and to make people happy, especially uh, the Filipino people. They say there's a lot of maybes in boxing or in any sport, but come May 7th, everyone is confident that they will witness spectacular boxing. Never underestimate great fighters who are approaching the end of their careers. People made that mistake last Saturday with Eric Morales, who suddenly had a rebirth and fought a hell of a fight against Madonna. Shane Mosley is been a great, great fighter. And Shane Mosley will come into this fight giving his best. Whether it's good enough to beat Manny or not, we'll see on May 7th. Cabo Bayan LA will be in Las Vegas this weekend. We want to give you all the highlights and sidelines from this bout, Manny Pacquiao versus Sugar Shane Mosley. Samahan niyo po kami next week and we'll give you all that. I guess the world is now ready for the fight. Let it begin.